I promise I still do tech and toys. I know this is like my fifth sneaker video in a row, but I can't help it, man. It's what drives me. Welcome to Man Cave Media. Today we are checking out a pair of Puma suede that I have no idea how to pronounce. It is the Puma Suede XL Gure. G-U-R-E with a little line over the E. Gure? I don't know, man. So I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I just know it's an awesome colorway, but uh, can't pronounce it. <laughs> Uh, so I know I'm going to be pronouncing this incorrectly for the entire video, so if it bothers you, just go ahead and click away. If you know how to properly pronounce it, can you type it out in one of the comments down below and help my dumbass? But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these out of the box and check them out. I apologize for the funny camera angle. I recently updated my MacBook to Sequoia, and it broke my Canon app. So I am not using my normal overhead camera right now. Um, it's not working with my MacBook currently. So the iPhone is standing in. So anyhow, my second pair of gray sneakers this month. Oh man, these are so nice. Sneaker number one. Very, very lovely colorway. Sneaker number two, my apologies. Very nice, very nice. Check the box or anything else. Very standard green and white Puma box, nothing special. To the trash with you. So here they are in all their glory, the uh, Puma Suede XL Guri. Guru. Guru. They smell really nice. <laughs> Um, I've said this before about the Puma Suede Classics. It warms my heart that they come shipped to me with fat laces. I love that so much. I used to have to go to the swap meets and buy my own fat laces. Thank you, Puma. <sighs> so nice. But anyway, on with the show. Uh, so the entire upper is suede, but it's not your usual like Puma Classic suede. It's, uh, it's pretty coarse, actually. And it's not soft at all. But it has a really cool look to it. It's like a, it's like a weathered concrete kind of look to the entire upper. It's really nice. But on the outside of the shoe, we have a white Puma logo that is a soft suede. More the suede that you're used to for a shoe like this. And then you have the uh, silver Puma writing right there on top. The midsole is this translucent uh, like seafoam green which I love. It gives very nice contrast to the rest of the shoe. And it looks really nice and it is semi-translucent and I love it. Uh, more of the same on the inside of the shoe, more of that like weathered concrete kind of kind of gray. And then the, uh, the soft white Puma logo. And then of course the uh, semi-translucent seafoam uh, midsole. On the tongue, again, more of the same with the, uh, the weathered uh, concrete colored suede and the uh, semi-translucent seafoam midsole. On the tongue, as I mentioned, it comes pre-laced with these fat laces and they are not white. They look white from a distance, but they are blue. And I love this color combo. It seems a little bit weird at first when you think about it, but it works. It just works. All these colors work together. And uh, I really, really dig it. Uh, so I will not change these laces at all one bit. Um, these laces actually remind me of a couple weeks ago, I did a review of the, uh, the uh, Puma 180 women's sneaker uh, that a friend of mine purchased. And these are like very similar color lace. It's like, it's like the easy hyperspace blue. Um, and then the tips on the laces are like a purplish blue. So really nice look overall. On the back of the shoe, we have another like grayish white stripe that matches the Puma logos. 
and then a blue Puma logo right here on the heel. It looks really nice. More of that seafoam green translucent midsole. And it says uh, Puma right there on the back. I did not finish talking about the tongue. Let me back up. I got ahead of myself. Uh, the tongue is also the same color as the Puma logo. It's like a like an off-whitish, grayish color. And it is also very soft suede. And then it says Puma at the top of the tongue with a Puma logo. On the inside of the shoe, it is more of that same color. It's a little bit lighter. It's more of a white on the inside. But then the insole says Puma in gray. It's a really nice touch. The outsole, standard uh, Puma suede uh, tread pattern. But the entire sole is that semi-translucent like seafoam green, which is a really cool color. I dig it. So retail price for these is $100, and right now they have sizing available in size 4 through 13. Uh, 14 is sold out. So if you are 14 and you were looking for these, you'll have to go to a third-party option. Unfortunately, um, for Puma suede, I go true to size. I'm a size 12. These are a size 12. They usually fit me quite comfy. And especially the, the models that have the fat tongue, the, uh, the XL. Uh, they usually fit me quite well. And I have no doubt that these are going to feel the same as the other Puma suede that I have. But anyhow, that being said, let's go ahead and get some close-ups and some on-feet of these beauties, shall we? So as I expected, these feel just as comfortable as other Puma suede that I own. And the good thing about Puma suede is the more you wear them, the more comfortable they get. So uh, over time, they just, they're a really good, you know, really comfortable sneaker uh, for like daily wear use. And uh, this colorway, man, I can't get enough of it. I like them a lot. Really nice. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.